Hey everybody. I wanted to talk about why I'm not a Christian. There was a point in my life after Wicca and before atheism where I could have possibly become a Christian. I was, I was studying um, Christian mysticism, uh, Gnosticism, and there, there's some other branches of it, but Gnosticism is the, is the biggest one, which is different than being a Gnostic Christian. But that's a, that's a totally different video. Anyway, I was studying Christian mysticism, and I sort of, I sort of started, started seeing uh, Christianity metaphorically, and there's a train coming, so I'm going to stop this right now. So I started seeing Christianity sort of metaphorically, like uh, I didn't necessarily think that the stuff actually happened. I, I was started, started seeing it sort of like metaphor. I still kind of believed a little bit in the, in the miracles, not, not all of them, but a lot of them. But um, I started, so I started, I started learning more and more about Christianity and really the whole reason why it never latched on to me is because Jesus' message is supposed to be a message of love and just the whole, what I find is, what I find, found was interesting was, um, and Jesus pretty much preached love, except for like a few, um, a few verses where he taught some pretty off the wall stuff. But he pretty much taught love um, up and right up until his death, and then during his resurrection, he started talking about you know, I I don't know the exact Bible verses, but. He who believes will go to heaven. He who doesn't will burn eternally in hellfire. So I just think it's... That to me, that's, there's nothing loving about that. Love is supposed to be unconditional. That's a condition. This is, okay, this is what I, this is how I see love. When uh, when I came out to my mom as gay, not as atheist, she she she's very conservative. She got extremely upset. She she cried. She didn't talk to me for like a week, and she she was actually angry at me. She she wasn't she, she wasn't like upset that that I was gay. She was she was mad that I was gay. Like I was doing it, it to to piss her off or something like that. And I think she might still think that to this day. But despite how conservative she is, she never disowned me. She didn't kick me out of the house, which she could have because I was 18 at the time. She could have legally kicked me out of the house. She didn't. To me, that's love. I, I mean, you know, my mom and I disagree on a lot of things, but I I know that she loves me, and I love her, and that's just, you know, and love is, love is unconditional. And a, a lot of people think of God as a father, and they think of heaven as God's house. And if you put things into that context, God is basically disowning you for doing something that he doesn't approve of, you know, well, not not accepting him. And that to me that's not love. Parents that do that to their to their kids, their gay kids or maybe maybe atheist kids, I don't know. Um I I really don't know much about kids who come out as atheists to their parents. I don't know whether they get kicked out or whatever but I imagine some do but 
when parents do that kind of crap, that's that to me that shows that they don't actually love their children. Some people will say, "Oh, well, it's tough love." Tough love, it, love is not tough. It's like saying a tough marshmallow. You know, it's not. It's not. Once it's tough, it's not love anymore. Uh, to me, tough love is just like a, it's kind of a cop-out, it's kind of a way of saying, it, it's, it's a way of justifying your, your anger and your hatred. It's like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm actually loving, I'm just, you know, it's tough love. No, you're just an asshole. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So, uh, I will see you guys later, and I'm... Uh, hopefully I'll put out some more videos. I know I haven't really been putting out many videos, but hopefully I'll put some more out. And I will see you guys later. Adios.